something happened and I had to start over. Well, anyways, like I was, I must have bumped something. Too nice of a day to sit inside. Uh, the other day, uh, I washed this and then put 303 detailer on it. And um, today, uh, what I had done was um, I basically just rinsed it. It was just pollen. And um, I was just trying that to see. I didn't have to hand wash it at all. And uh, there's pollen on it again. On the hood and roof, well, as always. But uh, it'll, it'll blow right off now. But uh, when I did wash it, I just, I, I didn't really wash it. I um, rinsed it with water and literally dried it. And uh, a couple spots it dried before I got to it, so I used a Armor All wash wipe. And then, of course, I put my Meguiar's. Here's all the things I used today. I didn't use the 302 today, but that was on there. That's why it was so easy. Did the hot shine on the tires like I always do. The main thing I want to focus on is the Turtle Wax Hybrid Ceramic Acrylic Black Polish. That's the thing. I needed that, not for the whole car. I might do the roof and hood. Because they get the most weathering. Um, this is a 2009 Vibe GT and it's my pride and joy and I, I know I know I show a lot of pictures but there was tons of stone chips just on the front clip and on the hood where I put the bug visor I really put that for chips to not get any and where there were some chips because that's metal I took a fine paintbrush with that exact paint and just dabbed the chips so they wouldn't rust. And you can't even see them because of this. This is like a hundred bucks. Piece of plastic. And then I got my Pontiac. And then on this Pontiac, I did carbon fiber. Uh, it was faded. But I didn't really want to spend the money on a new one. And I just thought, it, like, some Pontiac symbols are black, but they have the point... I thought I would just do something different and it looks cool you don't notice it and you really don't until you really look at it and then here I even detailed the the honeycombs of the grill I mean it took a lot to get in all of those I use something different with that I don't have it out here it's just a small bottle of turtle turtle wax uh, trim restore and that's classic trim same down there now, what you can see, though, is how good you can see a reflection. You can see my neighbor's car, me. You don't see the chips. Headlights look better since I used that stuff. The whole car, A to B. 09 Vibe GT. Yeah, yeah, it's not a, you know, supercar or nothing like that. Uh, most people don't even really notice until they do because when you pull up next to me you can try <laughs> nah, I'm not a hot rodder but I tell you what this little four banger is faster than any car I've had someone did something to this but yeah the McGuire's on the tires and um, the, the uh, 303 you didn't even have to scrub it rinse and dry i do want to do the roof and the hood with the black turtle wax uh, polish interior is perfect too not even going to attempt to go in there uh there's already crap on here these damn trees hard to keep it clean up back here because of these pine trees but you know it is what it is now my buddy's car is white and you know it stays clean because it's white. Black shows everything. But that 303 made things just a whole lot easier. And that black wax. Well polished, but it's 20 bucks. And it was the best 20 bucks I spent so far. Uh my whole front clip looks better than when I bought it. Uh as close as you can get to uh really you know 
you know painting it is one thing or buying a bra or something like that but it, you know it's plastic and it won't rust because of the chips but it don't look good you have a whole car that looks nice and shines and then you have the front end with just stone chips everywhere and i tell you what i've never seen this i put it on with my polisher pad on my drill and i will say one thing i was a little generous because it was hot out and um actually a little goes a long way and i i use a lot so it took longer to dry well i was waiting till it to dry i did other stuff because it i use a microfiber rag and all kinds of stuff and you'll know if you miss it it's still black but you will know when you miss uh because uh taking it off is harder than putting it on if you use too much but i tell you what for the first time put it on with a polisher and uh i should have taken it off with a polisher too <laughs> man you gotta use it a little a thin coat will do better in the long run that, that's probably what i'll do on the um hood and roof sides don't need it sides don't need it they don't get weathered there's no chips there's no nothing uh but that is that this car is uh 14 years old yeah 14 years old and like i say the inside is what it is it's leather got the gt all that stereo is perfect there's nothing really for me to do it you know start it up you're just gonna hear you know car but you don't see the gts you see vibes everywhere because they last forever uh but you do not see the gts like um there's another one that's around here that's red and uh upon pulling up on it really close it's a uh, it's beat this one for some reason someone took care of it same with the underneath your underneath is rust free so and only ninety thousand eight hundred and some miles so. but yeah Maybe one day I'll get to hook this camera up in the inside somehow and we'll, we'll shoot up and down the freeway and someone might want to try. <laughs> Alright, bye bye.